The next common misconception we want to address is can you control manipulation of your data files and the field values within those files. The common misconception is that all the data field access and manipulation is going to be performed through my RPG and COBOL application programs. These programs enforce the data integrity and business rules for that data. My production data cannot be modified in such a way as to break my business rules because it's controlled by my programs. Many people hold this misconception. Let's take a look and see what the reality is. The reality of the business data integrity is that this is the year 2011. Our data is still protected using the methods that we learned in 1982. There is a multitude of modern methods to manipulate data outside of the normal business rules that are implemented in those RPG and COBOL application programs. Today we have tools like FTP, ODBC, JDBC, IBM iNavigator has a database navigator in it that allows you to manipulate field values. You can use client access file transfer in order to actually blow away a file. You can even use tools as simple as update data, DFU, to change field values to values that are not proper for the data. This can be done maliciously or this can be done by sheer accident. In 1982, our users would sign on and they would have a menu. Here's an example of a pay user menu, and the three options on the menu are maintain the payroll file, print the payroll reports, and sign off. In these ways, the data was protected in that the only way to get to the data was through these menu options and through the RPG or COBOL business programs that we had written to protect the data and to make sure that the data had integrity. At the back end of this database, we see the payroll master file has basically no authority on it at all. It's basically public all authority or pay user all authority. It really didn't make any difference what the authority on those files was because the only way to get to the data was through the green screen menu. Switch over now to circa 2011 when the network access methods are in place where we can use FTP or client access file transfer or ODBC or DDM or a plethora of other methods to get to the data. When we use these methods there is no menu restriction to say what the data fields are going to be when they go through my COBOL program. There's no menu restrictions in network access. There is no data validation that's performed by these network tools. ODBC, DDM, FTP, no data validation, so I could set a uh, state code to the value of XX and that would be fine. I could overlay a file with FTP and totally uh, obliterate the file. As an example, I could replace a customer file with a copy of uh, a PC file, my uh, log.txt file off of my C drive, and it would totally obliterate the customer file with totally invalid data. The problem is that the back end authorities on the payroll file and on the other data files that we deal with have not changed since 1982. We still have public all authority to the data or pay user change, pay user all, public all, public change. And so the data is not any better protected than it was then, but now we have many more ways to get to the data to manipulate the data. In circa 1982, the application software file access scheme that IBM communicated to all of the commercial software vendors at that time was the same scheme that's in place today where I have a group profile that owns all of the libraries and all of the data files for an application. All of the application end users are members of that group, therefore all application users have all authority to all of the data files that make up the application. So here we have the application group profile. All the application users are members of that group. The application users are the owner of the application data files. So as far as authority is concerned, everybody is authorized to everything. Some of the options for fixing this and for protecting this incorrect data manipulation that we have in 2011 is that you can certainly implement DB2 database check constraints and referential constraints in order to help uh, improve the integrity of your database. You can retrofit your application security scheme to an adopted authority scheme instead of the old scheme where all of the users own all of the data. You can control 
and log the access that comes through network interfaces like ODBC and FTP using server exit programs to not only control access but also to log the access. You can log and alert on improper data manipulation using database change audit software. When we talk about exit programs and how these exit programs work, our PC has maybe for example it has an ODBC driver on it loaded when we installed client access. Without an exit program in place we get direct access to the database server and we can make the database service requests that we make up on the PC. You can access the FTP server using a simple FTP client and transfer data up and down, therefore hosing data. The exit programs can stand in the gap to be the software firewall between the IBM I database and your network clients. Using network clients you can set data field values to any value you want. When it comes to data manipulation, your data can be manipulated apart from your business RPG and COBOL programs. You can control and log alert on improper data manipulation, which is something you should look at. So for example, when a data field value update does not adhere to the data rules, there are facilities, commercial software out there that can send you an alert after the fact or at the fact real time when somebody updates a record that is not based upon the data rules or data field update outside of the normal business programs somebody does a update to a file through SQL or through DFU or outside of normal business hours you can send an alert or log that a user while authorized to a file is not sanctioned to make the change that's another thing that we would want to alert on so a user, even though all the users are authorized to the file to make changes to the file, it would break the segregation of duties if the user were to make a change to a file. Therefore, we want to report on unsanctioned access to the data files. Can your data be manipulated apart from the normal RPG and COBOL programs? The answer is certainly yes.